What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Root from NoShell.com back with you guys here again, and today we're going to be checking out more Boolean functions for the string function, or the string data type, I'm sorry, in Python. So let's fire up idle, and let's create some uh, some cool stuff here. Let's call this uh, file.python. I guess we don't really have to spell it right, but, you know, it's always good practice to spell things right. <laughs> and uh, let's create a class here. Base, define a constructor self our comments going on if name is equal to okay so let's create a string variable here self dot string can be equal to this is a string keep it easy as always and now we can run this now what we're going to be checking out today is a uh, is another built-in string function of course and it's going to be the is lower function and that is a boolean function it'll return a true or false uh, type obviously and it's going to tell us if the string is full of lowercase characters in our case this is going to return false because we have this t in there we have this capital t and we have uh, we have a space in there if we define uh, if we actually print this false but if we take out this t it'll return true because okay so what it's doing is it's looking for only string variables or only lowercase variables I'm sorry lowercase character sets so let's check out how this is done let's create a new function ourselves we can test uh, actually sorry we're gonna create a function uh, is lower self and the string and let's start testing so let's do actually we're gonna want to import our string module remember that because we need to we need to do some testing here for characters and that sort of thing so for character in, mm, let's see, what am I saying? In the string, and we actually want to change this to a different name too. A string to look in, because we have if we have that string as our variable name, we're not going to be able to access that module because they have a they have the same name. So it's going to get confused and think of it differently. So we should change this to string to look in. So for each character, though, if the character is in string dot ASCII letters, so if it's a letter, we should test if character is not in. I wonder if it'll work that way. Because uh, usually I would use not preceding the condition, but I wonder if character if not if character not in string dot lowercase. Remember we should use ASCII here, ASCII lowercase can return false. And we break out of the loop though, and we're done processing. We can return true otherwise. So let's try this. Print self dot is lower. We can pass in self.string, and this will return true. If we put in that capital T, it'll return false. Okay, so it looks like this is going to work correctly for us. We have if the character is not in this thing right here, but if it's a letter, only if it's a letter we should be worried about it. If it's not, if it's like a space character or an exclamation point, we don't have to, we don't really have to care about it. But if it's anything that isn't, if it's a capital letter, then dude, we better we better freak out. We better just call the police or something because it's not all lowercase. So, but if it is though, and we've we've done loop, we are finished looking, looping, looping and looking through the string. I'm Christopher Walken all of a sudden. <laughs> if we're done looking and looping through the string and we haven't found any problems, we can just say, yeah, we can return true. Whatever. Works for me. And this is exactly how it's set up. So if we do, uh... This is a string and we just have a random capital R-I, or capital I at the end, it's still going to return false because we've still found something that we don't want to see in here. So this is exactly how it works. We, uh, the normal function that you you would normally be looking at is the string variable, and then with a dot selector you can use the is lower function. But the one that we created that works at a pretty much the same way, uh, you can. This is how it works. You loop through it and you return some boolean variables if you need to. And there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. And we'll be checking out some more functions a lot like this in the coming tutorials. See you soon. Bye.